Hi everyone, this is Heidi Hancock with Double Magenta Intuitive Energy Healing, and this is your soul message for June 2019. So, just a collective sigh from the intensity of May. Let's just take a deep breath together, okay? Inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling out the mouth. And one more for good measure. Inhaling. And exhaling. Whew. That was much more intense than I anticipated. And I even read the energy ahead. So last month I talked about the fire hose of energy in our faces and that we needed to sort and organize to help feel, help from feeling like we're getting blasted in the face, right? Well, my experience was that I was blasted in the face with it anyway. And here's something that I noticed along the way. For me, it felt like the degree to which letting that energy in was difficult was the degree to which I was resisting it. And it's caused me to think a lot this month and I think we're going to be moving, you know, this is like a collective lesson that we're moving into June with. This sense of the energy and intensity of allowing joy and love into our lives. And it seems crazy to me, it's felt crazy to think joy is actually a difficult feeling to have. It's a difficult emotion to have. And then I ended up watching, I took like a couple days off after um, a really fun but exhausting also um, trip with some friends and I came back and ended up on the couch for a full day watching TV and I ended up watching the Netflix special by Brené Brown and it was just exactly what the doctor ordered and she talked about the intensity of joy and she actually said that joy is one of the most difficult emotions to let in because it is the most vulnerable and that really struck me and was perfect with how I was feeling for May and now moving into June and um, the good news for June that I can report is that the intensity of the feeling of it blasting in our face is calming down because what's happened is there's so much energy that has come in now that it's filled us up and it's filled the space around us up. So um, this month it's as if we are being steeped in the energy of joy and love and light and getting this support but instead of it being directionally pointed at us it's now in and around us supporting us like um you know a beautiful epsom salt bath soak um so we'll do a meditation around that this month to receive some of that support but i found it to be pretty intense and what i noticed also is that there was an energy of the intensity of that that you know water hose so to speak coming in you know down through our spinal column feeling often like it's coming right in our face was loosening up debris of things that were old that needed to needed to go so you might have noticed old memories, old friends, old things coming coming back in that you kind of thought you were done with or that was over. And um, a bit of a revisit with some of that and maybe not as intense as in the past, but little bits of residue of it kind of flushing out. So I noticed a lot of that and feel a little bit more open and cleaned out as a result, but it feels like there is a little bit of residue of that still here as we're moving through into June. And so 
just take note of that. What, what are the things around you? And we'll kind of do that in the meditation too, to help. What are the things that are still lingering around that you've kind of been like, Hmm, I'm hanging on to that. Why am I hanging on to that? Um, you know, this idea of joy being difficult to receive. What's interesting about that is we tend to hold on to suffering. If you imagine yourself as a container and there's only so much energy, right? There's an infinite amount of energy and, or a finite amount of energy. And you are, you know, parts of it are filled up with, I actually, I use this um, description to describe energy healing. So I'll just show you the, the image. So if you imagine that your energy is a finite circle, right? And part of it is taken up with the struggle and difficulty of, you know, an ex-husband or, you know, family stuff or whatever, trauma here, trauma there. And then your circle ends up getting so full that you just have this little tiny corner over here that's left for you to work with. And so the reason for doing energy healing work is to go back through and clear some of that old stuff out that is taking up your space. So what's interesting about that though is that subconsciously I think we can hang on to some of those difficulties and trauma as a way of structuring ourselves so that we can feel safe. It's a false sense of security anyways because things are still gonna come in, they're still gonna ping us, they're still gonna knock on those walls that we've created to keep ourselves safe. But we may grip onto those things with a death grip because that's become our identity and we don't know who we are without all that stuff. So May and into June is causing us to kind of go, hey, are those things really serving us anymore? Because those are kind of old news and they're not probably serving you in the life that you have now. There is so much more love. There is so much more fluidity around um, barriers between people, ideas, you know, thoughts, feelings, the structure of judgment, and all of those things are starting to melt away. And we're starting to see the core of people and not so much of their labels, and not so much of the, the labels that we use to separate and define each other to keep us safe. So some of that is melting away and we can get to the core essence of who we really are and so it allows us and them to soften and that brings me to my next point so if you're listening to this video you're probably an empath a sensitive and intuitive you're walking a spiritual path you're curious about all of that or you wouldn't be listening to this so you're probably more in tune with this idea of working on yourself and wanting to kind of clean up your side of the street, right? Like you recognize that there is a responsibility that you have in relationship of taking care of your stuff. And um, so you may have been working on that. And, you know, I have discovered that a lot of empaths and intuitives are kind of the black sheep of their family, right? Like they often believe in things that the rest of their family doesn't believe in. And so they're sort of like the weird one that stands out that's, um, you know, and there can be a lot of pain and struggle around that. But um, because of that, and because of this kind of structural thing that I talked about earlier, we have defined people, places, things, ideas, and ourselves as a, in a certain way, right? And all of this energy is coming in and melting those barriers. So what you also might notice and even just pay attention to, hone into it a little bit more, is that the people around you that you thought were a certain way may start showing up differently. And you may be surprised that, hey, you know, this conversation that you never could have had with your mom in the past or you would have felt judgment or criticism or whatever, if you tried it again now, might be totally different. Because even if people who aren't in touch with their spirituality or their intuition or connected to that sense of soul purpose um, and being curious about that, they are still steeped in all of the same energy that I talk about every month. All of these things that are like this collective energy that's moving us along and informing how the world is being transformed. Even if you're not aware of it, you're still being affected by it. And 
the other thing is that when you work on yourself individually, that has a ripple effect out to the people around you. So don't be surprised, and I would actually encourage you to expect that people that you thought were a certain way may be different and change. And I love, I don't know if you can hear the alarm outside right now, a truck backing up or something, but I love those affirmations of nature that are um, signals that what you're saying or what's happening or like the universe clapping and saying, hey, pay attention. So I offer that this month, pay attention, focus, maybe engage people that have disappointed you in the past in a different way and just check it out and see if that shows up for you. Um, and just notice because they are part of this collective energy that's moving and shifting and transforming what we're doing and they're going to be changing too. So give them the grace and give yourself the grace of that because you know, it's really hard to relate to the idea of someone instead of relating to who they actually are in front of you. So give people a chance to change because you're changing and you want the same benefit and respect from others, right? So we can offer that and it's a beautiful gift. Um, and it's really healing when we see other people change and we can receive them in a new way and that's part of opening the space for joy, right? We have to let go of some of those old structures and those old confines that we have for ourselves and for others so that we can allow more of that joy in. And I love that truck alarm is just going to keep going. Okay, so let's dip into the meditation a little bit and um, we'll feel into some of this energy that I'm talking about. So go ahead and close your eyes. And for this one, it might be beneficial to lay down because the the meditation that I'm going to be doing it might be easier for you to imagine what we're doing that way. But either way, come to a comfortable seat or lie down and closing your eyes. And let's just take a couple deep breaths again, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. And let's do that once more, inhaling and exhaling. And just allow your attention to move from your head to your throat, to your heart, to your solar plexus, to your belly, to your root. And just keep your attention there on your hips Begin to notice the energy around you. Feel the air on the edges of your skin. And then begin to imagine that there's water around you. And that you're laying in a beautiful lake. Feel the edges of the pool like your own little teacup that you're steeping in. Just feel the energy of that water around you and imagine that energy is this flow of love and life and joy that's filling us up and supporting us. And allow yourself to feel that support along your back as you're laying in the water. And allow that energy to seep into your bones, into your muscles, into your organs. Your heart, your belly, your digestive. 
digestive system, your lungs, your blood, your breath. Allow yourself to receive this energy. Mother Nature is here to support us. And she wants us to move through these barriers that have kept us small and stuck. She wants us to take risks. Because removing those walls is the pathway to freedom. We think that by placing these walls here, that we're keeping people or experiences, fear, discomfort, pain, out and away. But what we're actually doing is caging ourselves. And we're keeping love out as well when we do that. So when we can open the door and take down these walls, the balm of love and joy can come in and heal those wounds. And just imagine allowing those walls to melt seat of where those walls lay and feel the lightness in your heart as the experience of freedom comes in. Just allow yourself to steep in that. When we allow those walls to drop, we have more freedom to move in a circular fluid, fluid and circular pattern. There's more grace and movement. There's more forgiveness of ourselves and of others. And there's more sharing and connection with the people in our lives and the community. And then bring your attention back to your skin muscles, to your bones, and bring your attention into your seat, and then slowly open your eyes. So, be gentle with yourself this month as we get acclimated to this new energy that is in and around us. It's here to support us. And it's here to support our relationship and our connection with others as well. But it takes some time getting used to it being around. It takes some time. I feel like it's here in this sense of being in a pool around us so that we can't avoid it anymore 
and I feel like it came in in such intensity last month to kind of blast us in the face so that we couldn't avoid it anymore. So I wish you the best with this and just be gentle with yourself as you move forward and gentle with others and um, have a wonderful June. Namaste.